Some cities in the metro area are going to try timing their traffic lights by tracking drivers. They don't have to put a GPS on your car because you already have one of those. To the disgruntled driver on their daily commute, it seems the traffic light never changes fast enough. Computers could change that. Probably 5% of the signals in the metro area are, are running adaptive today. Jeremy Hannock is the director of public works for Greenwood Village. GV is about to make Yosemite Street run adaptive, which essentially means gather data about the flow of traffic and let computers adjust the signals in real time. They do it using cameras at intersections and then these little boxes that essentially read Bluetooth signals from anything from your phone to your car to any other device you might have on you. When it reads it at one intersection, it can timestamp it. And then when it reads it at the next intersection, we get a sense of how well traffic's flowing along a corridor. Fascinating. And in something of a first for the metro area, three cities are about to work together to improve the flow of one street. On Yosemite Street, you go between Greenwood Village, Centennial, and Lone Tree in a blink of an eye. One blink later. And it will allow our signals to adjust in real time to deal with that traffic as it exists. Lone Tree Public Works Director Justin Schmitz told us it'll be much better than the way the lights used to work. The signals are coordinated together. Um, that means as you drive, right, you should get as many green lights as you can. When this change happens, probably early next year, they say you will notice the difference. No matter if you're in Lone Tree or Centennial or in Greenwood Village, travel along the Yosemite Corridor, you're going to see improvements. So why aren't they rolling this out until after the holidays, you ask? Because Yosemite writes, runs right next to Park Meadows Mall. Probably not the best time to experiment with traffic. So if this works, you could see this spread throughout other parts of that north-south corridor between those three cities. Greenwood Village says they've seen a 30% increase in travel times in areas where they've tested this out.